وَأَقُولُوا فِي الْقُرْآنِ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ آيَاتُهُ فَهُوَ الْكَرِيمُ الْمُنْزَلُ وَأَقُولُوا قَالَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ جَلَالُهُ وَالْمُصْطَفَى الْهَادِي وَلَا أَتَأَوَّلُ How do we deal with family members who show enmity towards us in matters of the religion? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in The issue of family members and there were many questions like this uh, at least two of them I, I brought together to make this question but a lot of questions where the theme of the question is family members who have enmity towards us because of the deen because of the religion and that might be the way we practice the religion the commitment we have towards the religion inshallah ta'ala uh, it might be because of uh, aqidah issues it might be because of different things but they have it might be because they're not practicing and they have an enmity towards practicing people so how do we deal with family members who have enmity towards us in the religion first of all we have to remember the ayat in which allah azza wa jalla said wala tastawil hasanatu wala sayyi'ah the good deed and the bad deed are not equal. Respond in a way that is better. If you do so, the way the one that there is enmity between you and them will become like the closest friend. And we mentioned the ayat in the course in detail with some explanation. And nobody will be able to achieve this except those who are patient and nobody will be able to achieve this except the one who has a great portion of reward in the sight of Allah. And if the shaitan causes you to slip up and causes you to fall short on your standards of responding to people in the way that is best, then seek refuge with Allah. Allah is a samir alim. So what we understood from this uh, particular set of ayat or this particular passage in the Quran is that we need to respond to them in the best possible way. People showing enmity to us because we are following Islam, this comes from ignorance. It comes from ignorance about Allah and about the rights of Allah. So ultimately the way we're going to remove that ignorance is by showing them the beauty of Islam and the beauty of practicing Islam and always having the moral high ground, always responding in the way that is better. As for cutting off from them, then as we had mentioned in other questions, uh, the key thing here is that cutting off for the sake of Allah, I, if you think that cutting off from them will make them turn back to the truth, then it's permissible for you to cut off from them if you believe that your cutting off from them will bring them closer to the truth. However, in this kind of case, it's rare that cutting off will bring them closer to the truth because usually, they show enmity towards you because of your religion, cutting off from them will not bring them closer to the truth usually. That's usually the case. And also, it's very important to use different styles of advice. Sometimes you want to bring in other people uh, to give them advice. You might want to try to reach out to them in some common ground that you have. For example, the common ground might be that, you know, the, the love of the Prophet wasallam, or it might be... Um, something to do with dhikr and adhkar or the Qur'an like they might still have that love and respect for the Qur'an we're talking about sort of Muslim family members but they you know they have enmity towards you because you're committed to practicing the religion inshallah and, and they aren't try to find that common ground and approach the conversation through that common ground if it's non-Muslim relatives uh, then again looking at different ways of approaching the issue it's not the way that necessarily one particular da'iyah one particular person who gives da'wah is necessarily, that their way is necessarily the, the way to do it. You have to look at each individual person and you have to find the right style of advice that's going to reach their heart. And ultimately, you always have to have the moral high ground. You always have to respond in a way that is better and be the one who's doing the right thing, even if other people are doing the wrong thing. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel. Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos 
to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.